the Movember update. <clears throat> this is actually so disgusting. It is so itchy. I don't know how anyone has a beard. I literally want to rip my skin off. Who is this person in the viewfinder right now? I'd like my boyfriend loves this and he's literally like keeping me so hair long and like it's just not gonna happen. That plaid blanket again, I swear to god. Hey bro. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm actually so ugly and today I'm actually gonna clean my house <laughs> That's it as you know by my like last two videos. I've been cleaning up my life. My house is a part of my life <laughs> I've been literally coughing for three weeks too. I've been like doing this thing where I'm like this messy counter like my life's messy and like, like I just compare everything in my life to like what's going on in my life. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You don't know what I mean. Anyway, watch the video and you'll know what I mean. My favorite thing that my dog does is he starts chewing the loudest toy he can find when I start filming. Like super happy that you've like found a toy and that you don't want me to give you attention in this moment, but it's also like you're loud. Anyway, so let's get started. First of all, let me take off my Gucci ring because like, you know, like we just don't want to get chemicals on it because first of all, I'm too poor to have a Gucci ring. So like, whatever, I can't ruin this one because I'll never get another one. <laughs> let's get started. So let's talk about some of these cleaning essentials. Where to pick from? They're all just laying out in front of me. You can't see them. Bounty Quicker Picker Upper because it quickly picks up that mess in your life and on your counter. We have Windex. Kills 99% of bacteria. This gets most of that like toxic human, toxic thing, toxic situation out of your head, out of your life. Lysol wipes. Oh, that's why I couldn't read it, it was the French side. Kills salmonella. <coughs> e. coli. MRSA. Staph. Staph. Strep. You can't swallow this. What do you mean this kills strep? Should I be swallowing Lysol wipes when I have a cough? Keep out of reach of children. Um, then I need to have a chat with my mother because she made me clean as a child. So just like good like day-to-day -day use, like you just made like a tiny mess, like a little mess up, like a little spill, like a little tiny mess up on your life and you just want to like Lysol that up. Some of us need to Lysol wipe our lives. Oh, and then we have the big daddy. Vim with bleach. Okay, because some of those messes on our lives, they, they stain and they, they follow you forever. And this gets rid of it. Anyway, so those are my cleaning supplies. Let's go get to cleaning because honestly, this intro is taking way too long. Let's talk about dust. Oh, it's soaking wet. So you need to make sure that you get behind the TV. You need to make sure that you get underneath the modem. You need to make sure that you get into the little corners and all of the places that dust collects. Dust collects like the thirsty men in your DMs. Dust collects like fake friends. You have to check every corner of your life, okay? Uh, hold on. You have to check every corner and every little hidden spot where dust collects in your life because we don't have time for dusty services or dusty friends. Okay, do you see this? Do you see this? That's what your life looks like, okay? Throw it out, clean it up, trash. And don't forget to clean the bathroom sink, okay? Toothpaste, <clears throat> toothpaste sticks to the bathroom sink, like those memories that like, you know, like stick to you because like you made a bad choice when you were growing up and then like those actions like stick with you for the rest of your life. And now like people know you as that person who like punched that guy in the face and like pushed him down a flight of stairs because he cheated on you in the same house. But like, it's fine because when he cheated on you while you were in the same house, like he also threw up on the guy he was cheated on you with. Anyway, like that's not the point. The point is that like clean your bathroom sink. I literally almost just broke the glass. I have to put my hair up for this next one because like I'm about to use the bleach and like I'm not trying to become a blonde. Do you think if I put bleach cleaner in my hair, my hair would become blonde? Wow, I look so bad like this. I cannot wait to shave. Like this is not the vibe. Anyway, back to the cleaning tutorial. So when cleaning your toilet, make sure you don't use a Lysol wipe. Like you need to use something like really aggressive like the Vim. My toilet's like got a white lid and like a beigey brown cream. Whatever. Whoever owned this house, like, what is this about? Why didn't you just get a new toilet? They're only like $200. Like, why did you get a different lid? I mean, whatever, like, you know, we're multicultural up in this house. The reason you really gotta clean your toilet is because honestly, it's like a metaphor for like that ex you had. You drop your waste in this toilet and your ex is a piece of shit. Oh my God, kitchen vibes. Do I look like Jesus? Oh my God, Jesus vibes. The devil could never. Satan could never. Dishes are like the problems you just like never want to face. 
They just like stink up your house because they're just sitting in the sink because like you're not dealing with them. You should probably wash them by hand. I have a dishwasher. Using a dishwasher is like going to a therapist. You just lay all your issues out on the table and then they start to be like, listen, this is what you should do. Well, actually they can't tell you what you should do is they're like right against the agreement. Anyway, but like you go to a therapist with all of your issues and they're just like, oh, well this is why this is like this and this is what this is teaching you. Like when you deal with everything yourself, that's like washing dishes by hand. Do you know what I mean? But if, like if you go to like a therapist. Anyway. Do your dishes. <laughs> Moving on. This mustache, not the vibe. Oh my god, wow. Up next. We have laundry to put away. You know what I mean? Laundry. So, uh, ow. Let me do that again. When you let your laundry pile up, it piles up like all your fears and anxiety and and your homework. <laughs> I hate myself. Oh my god, ew. My hair. Mm -hmm. Why is there just so much hair in my like laundry? Well, I just forgot that I have 35 inches of, of hair. Do you know what I mean? Like 35 inches of hair. I wish you could see my dog. He's just staring at me right there. Just so disapproving. He's literally like, Someone help it. Well, that lighting is just perfect. You know what you need to do? These are called hangers. And you need to find hangers for your life. Those hang-ups you have in life. Things that you're holding on to. It's time to organize them. Hang them up. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's wrinkly. And maybe you have wrinkles and kinks that you need to iron out. So goes. Come on, guys. Time to vacuum. My dog is very scared of the vacuum because he's obviously very scared of cleaning up his 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 life. I don't really like to sweep. I prefer to vacuum, even though I have absolutely no problem sweeping all of my, you know, responsibilities as an adult under the rug, but that's like not the point. I prefer to vacuum and that way I can suck all of the dirt and dust that I don't see in my carpet and in my life. Because sometimes your eyes can't see dust and dirt. Just like sometimes you can't see that your friends are toxic and like that, you know what I mean? Where's the button? Oh my gosh, I know you hate the vacuum, it's so loud. And you just want to avoid all of your issues and all your problems. Where's my dog go? I have to take out the trash now. Do you know what that means? Okay, time to take out the trash. Get your head out of the trash. We're always curious about those trash men because sometimes those are the ones that are the most intriguing. We have to get rid of the trash. I know, I know it's hard. I know, I know, I know. Mr. Goose, you want to get to the trash men so bad? Please don't take the scrunchie off my wrist. That's exactly where I wanted you to stand. How did you know? I love you more than I love anybody and anything else in the world, but right now, I need you to get out. Yeah, I need you to get out. Okay, let's do this video together. A word from me and Mr. Steve. Take out the trash. Right, Mr. Steve? We gotta take out the trash, right? Sometimes the trash in our kitchen resembles the trash X that we have in our direct messages that we should have locked a long time ago, but we didn't. But anyway, how when you don't take the trash out of your life, your life begins to stink. I just need a tiny man with a tan. That's all I need is a big gooseberry. Oh, I know. No, no. So you need to take that trash. Get your head out of the trash. You're the weak one that keeps the ex coming back. We need to have a serious talk, come here. We have to have this intervention, sit down. I know it's hard. You have to cut the cord, you gotta get that ex out. You gotta say goodbye ex, it's time for you to go. You know, and now you're becoming the violent one. Oh my God, you were me a couple years ago because you, because you just couldn't let that ex go. So you became violent and you became aggressive. But really, if you just deal with all your issues, so I'm gonna have to corral you and make sure that you do not text your ex anymore. Get your head out of the trash, baby boy. They're just dumpster boys in there. You want to talk to the ex, but you can't. Anyway, get rid of your ex. That leads me into the next cleaning thing, Mr. Steve. Oh, you dropped it right on my big toe. You also have to clean your dog. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. So, sometimes you need to wash your dog. Sometimes your dog is a mess. Sometimes your friends are a mess. 
Sometimes you gotta step up and clean up that mess, right, Mr. Goose? My dog likes to roll around in the dirt. And sometimes your friends like to roll around with their dirty, disgusting, whack boyfriends. That's their choice. But sometimes you have to clean up the mess when they run to you crying because they're covered in dirt or covered in fleas. The emotional trauma from their boyfriends that treat them like crap. And you've told them over and over and over, don't roll in dirt, but don't roll around with that stupid boyfriend. But here they are making the same choice over and over and over again. Once you've fixed their problems, all they do is run back to their stupid boyfriend and not even listen, right, Mr. Steve? Or when you try to tell them what's good for them, they just try to attack you because they think you don't know what's good for them. And they just... Sometimes your friends need a timeout. You have to water your plants, okay? Plants are like your life. And when you don't... <laughs> Yours <laughs> soaking wet on my furniture. Can you get off? When you plant the seeds for success, you need to water them, or it's just an idea. With no action. I need you to ignore that leaf back there. Do you see that one? And that's like literally dying, okay? Like, I don't water that seed. And now look at it withering away, like my finances. <laughs> water your seeds, water your plant. Because if you don't, they'll die. When you know what else will die? You. When you don't water the business that you've created, because then you'll make no money, and then you'll have no food, and then you can't feed you or your dog, and then you'll starve to death, but you'll starve to death over your dog because your dog obviously can't starve, so you'd rather starve instead. Anyway, water your plants, okay? Oh my God, do I look like a plant goddess? Hashtag plants. Rainforest too. <laughs> I'm done cleaning now. I feel cleansed. I feel refreshed. My hands feel dry because I cleaned with Vim bleach without using gloves. But anyway, if you need any tips on cleaning, don't watch this video because it wasn't helpful. I just have no time right now. I honestly put a lot of effort in my last two videos and this one was just because like I just need a break. All of my video ideas for the next like bit are just like too elaborate for this week, like this week is just too busy. I'm hoping that my next video, I'm starting to film it this week because it's gonna be a two week process of like long hair struggles of like the, all the issues that come with being like, like just like having long hair. Do you know what I mean? Like it's so hard to have long hair. So I was gonna make a video on that this week, but honestly like it's just a lot of work. I hope you weren't triggered by my facial hair. Hope you like this video. <laughs> You probably didn't, but that's okay. You can unsubscribe below. But don't, like honestly subscribe to my channel, click the button that says red right here. Do you see it? It's red. Click the button that says red is my button on my TV that's like, Hi, I'm not an on TV. If you wanna get away from your real life, come be a part of mine. <laughs> like this video, give it a pity like. We're pitying my facial hair, that's what we're pitying. <laughs> my Instagram is at actually so ugly. You can follow me there, let me tell you. Okay, I definitely look a lot better there than I've looked in this video. I can promise you that. Click the notification bell and you will be notified every time I post a video. But do you know when I post a video? Let me tell you when. I post a video every Sunday at noon. Okay, 12 o'clock p.m. EST, PST, I don't know. I don't know which one I am, but I'm one of them. <coughs> Goodbye now.